Today I'm here to talk to you about an essential tool for the restoration industry, dehumidifier, sometimes referred to as DHUs. Here we have an example of an open dehumidifier. Dehumidifiers come in all different shapes and sizes and the primary method we use to dry wet materials. Dehumidifiers use the concept of condensation to work. Inside the dehumidifier are coils, which have refrigerant in them. Moist air is drawn into the dehumidifier and attracted to the cool coils. This causes condensation, which eventually drips down to an internal tank to be pumped out to a drain once it's full. Now that the air is dry, it is then sent back out through the dehumidifier, and as a result of evaporation, that air is now warm. This in turn helps increase the temperature in the room, which causes more evaporation, because water trapped and wet materials are attracted to that warm, dry air. The primary type of dehumidifiers we use are known as LGRs, or low-grain refrigerants. These type of dehumidifiers feature a double cooling system, which allow for more condensation on the coils located inside the machine. This allows for the maximum amount of drying power possible. Each dehumidifier has a maximum amount of water it can draw out per day. This is known as pints per day, or PPD. We use this metric to determine the type and the amount of dehumidifiers we use. The more wet material is present, or the bigger the space, the larger the pints per day requirement. In a typical water loss, the drying process can take between 3 and 5 days, during which time the dehumidifier is running 24-7 until all wet materials meet their drying goals. Dehumidifiers are an essential part of the restoration industry. New technologies are being invented every day that make them smaller and even more efficient. Thank you for joining me, and if you have a fire, water, or mold emergency, please call Sir Pro of Terrytown Elmsford to make it like it never even happened.